Welcome to the Common Game tutorial on the optimal contract and corresponding bidding commentary columns that are presented in the Fast Results Analytics page. Today we are simply going to look at some examples of optimal contracts to give you a feel for the information presented there. As a reminder, the optimal contract is the contract that should have been bid, either by north-south or east-west, to achieve the optimal score for that board, considering the best contract that could have been made according to Double Dummy. Here we are looking at a game from August 25th. For the purpose of this tutorial, let's assume that these are your results. You and your partner were east-west, you were sitting east. Looking at board 2, we see the optimal contract is 3 clubs by east-west, doubled, down 1. Your actual result was 3 clubs by east, down 1. Basically the same. So, as you see stated in the bidding commentary column, you reached the optimal contract on that board. Well done. Moving on to board 3, the optimal contract is 2 spades by north-south, making 2. The actual result was 2 clubs by east, for plus 90. Here, north-south missed bidding the optimal contract, and thus we see the comment, they missed partial, in the bidding commentary. So, looking at all the information presented here, you did well on this board, scoring plus 90 rather than minus 110. Let's take a quick look at board 4. Here, the actual result was 2 spades by south, making 2 for minus 110. The optimal contract was 3 clubs north-south, making 3 for minus 110. And the corresponding bidding commentary says they bid wrong partial. But wait, you scored a minus 110, and the optimal contract score was also minus 110. So what's the difference? Well, let's look at the extra tricks column. You see that red minus 1 there? That means that you took one less trick than you should have, allowing them to make two spades when they should have only made one. So what is shown in the optimal contract here is correct, but you need to remember that it assumes correct defense. Let's look at just a few more examples. Looking at board 1 on this analysis from September 6th, we see the actual table result was 3 spades by east, down 1 for minus 50. The optimal contract, however, was 4 spades by east, doubled, going down 2 for a score of minus 300. What? Why would we have bid to a bad game for a worse score? Well, let's look at the bidding commentary to see what's going on. It says, they missed game. Sure enough, Double Dummy says that North-South can make four hearts. So if they had bid to their game, we should have sacrificed by bidding four spades. Remember, the optimal contract is determined considering the best contract that could have been made by either side. To see the makeable contracts, just hold your cursor over the optimal contract. As you can see, North-South can indeed make four hearts on this hand. For our last example, let's look at board 9 on this graphic. The table result was 3 no trump, west, down 1. The optimal contract is 4 clubs by north-south, down 3, with the bidding commentary saying, they missed sacrifice. Well, like the last example, this seems odd. Why would they sacrifice for minus 500 when we were down 1, giving them a plus 100? Because we missed game. We can see this either by looking at double dummy, or by looking at the extra tricks column, which shows a red minus one, meaning that we made one less trick than we should have. If we had made our vulnerable game, scoring plus 600, then our opponents should have bid to the optimal contract for the sacrifice. There's a lot of great information on the analytics page, and putting it all together will give you great insight into your game. We hope this information helps you better understand the information presented in the optimal contract and bidding commentary columns. If you're looking for an overall explanation of the analytics page, please see our Fast Results Analytics tutorial. If you have any questions or would like to suggest a topic for a tutorial, please email us at help at Thanks for watching.